guys welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new and welcome back if you are a returning a subscriber first of all i just want to say thank you guys to everyone who wished me a happy birthday in my last video you guys are so kind and so sweet and i just want to say thank you and also you guys we hit 100 subscribers which means there is a giveaway in this video stay tuned for that but i won't be doing it right away and I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who subscribed and everyone who's new on my channel. It means the world to me. And I can't wait to get to know you guys in the comments below. So if you are new, my name is Renelle and I am a mother of three girls and I have a fiance. In today's video, we will be doing November's week three budget with me. This is how much we got paid. This is where we're putting it in bills, debt, expenses and sinking funds and if you are a returning subscriber you obviously can tell that this is different i just got really tired of writing on the smaller little cheetah print notepad that i had so i just decided to use a bigger one and hopefully you guys can see this way better and also i love these highlighters i don't know if you guys can see it very clearly but i love them they have like little glitter in them and i will have them linked down below but let's get right into this. My fiance's paycheck was $1,201. And this is what he got paid for two weeks. He gets paid bi-weekly, so twice a month. Technically every other Friday. So sometimes he gets three paychecks a month. Most of the time though, it is only two. And you guys, he got a raise. He got a promotion. I know I mentioned this in my last video but he did get a raise, it's a dollar more, so that's so helpful. And then this is my pay for the week. I did not do as much work this week and I plan to do more the following week. So this next week, I should make more than this, but I'm trying you guys. <laughs> I made $283, so in today's video, we will be stuffing $1,484. This is our total income for week three of November. So first let's get into our bills. So subscriptions is getting $40. My subscriptions are $83 a month and I put them in on the first of every month and it just stays in the bank. That way anything that goes through I don't have to worry about like going into the negative or using my buffer. Also you guys are you ready for this? I lost my fiance's debit card the day before my birthday. So anyway, subscriptions is getting 40 because I think it already has 20 in there, but I need it by December 1st. So it's getting 40. Power is getting $40. Phone will be getting $75. And this is because phone is due on the 5th of every month. So we need to start saving for it again. School is not getting anything. And for anyone new, school is my daughter's tuition. She's in kindergarten and we pay for half of it and her grandmother pays for the other half. And then internet is getting its last $20 and then it will be fully funded. And my internet is $87 a month. Then rent is getting $550. So it's getting $150 from me and then $400 from my fiance because I have been putting money in there from my paychecks already and that again is due in December so now credit one is not getting anything because it does already have the minimum payment saved water and trash will be getting $20 my M loan and my J loan so even though we just paid these I figured why not start a little early to start saving for them again for the month of December because I want all my money in December, if I can, like after bills, to mostly go to Christmas, to go Christmas shopping. And then my daughter's birthday, Ava, she her birthday is January 6th. So it's right after Christmas. So I normally am saving for Christmas and then also saving for her birthday at the same time. So because they're so close together. Car payment is not getting anything. We did just pay this. Car insurance is not getting anything, and I am pulling that out tonight, and that is getting paid tomorrow. Capital One is not getting anything. 
So now if we add all of our bills up, we get a total of $775 in bills that we will be paying for this week. Our remaining balance is $699. Okay, you guys, so I told you in my previous videos that if I had extra money, I would be putting it snowball. So that is exactly what we're doing. We are going to be putting $100 towards snowball. And now snowball has 200 so far this month, along with the minimum payment. So 250 total going to our debt. And for those wondering that are returning subscribers, I will be doing my snowball debt and letting you guys know all, everything I owe and stuff because for anyone new, I owe close to $65,000 in debt and this is student loans, this is medical and about only 5% of it is actually like debt, like credit card and stuff. 22,000 of it is student loans and then the rest of that is all medical debt and I have to pay it. My insurance did not cover it, so I have to pay it. So that is the way it is. So we need to get tackling on it though because my credit is in the toilet and I need to pay it. Now, after we deduct $100 from our leftover in bills, the $699, and we take off our $100 for this, we're left with $500 and $99. Okay, so next is our expenses. So gas will be getting $70. I did use my other gas money for my birthday. All right, and then eating out is getting $30. And then necessities is getting $100. And this is our last $100 and any money we're putting in necessities for the month of November. This is the rest I need for the remaining like two weeks. Groceries is not getting anything. And for anyone new, I did talk about this in my monthly budget in November. So you, I will have that link down below so you can check that out and why groceries is not getting stuffed. Luna is not getting anything. She does not need anything. We will start to stuff her though because I do want to get her a dog bed in our living room. Now I and my fiance are getting $40 a piece. So then if we total up all of our expenses, we get a total of $280. With a remaining balance left over, so if we take our total here and our remaining balance from extra debt and we deduct our total, we get a remaining balance of $319. Okay, so for everyone who's stuck around to this point, this is when I'm going to announce how to enter into the giveaway. So there are gonna be some rules that you have to do in order to qualify for the giveaway. First one is you have to be subscribed to me and you have to be publicly subscribed to me. If you are not publicly subscribed to me, um, I'm, unfortunately you will not be entered into this giveaway. There's an option in your channel, in your YouTube, that where you can hide your who you're subscribed to or show it. And you do have to select that you're allowing people to see who you're subscribed to. Second thing is you do have to comment down below. So in this giveaway, I will be doing a $25 gift card to Starbucks or Dunkin'. I need you to comment down below if you would prefer a Starbucks or a Dunkin' gift card. And then also I need your email in the comments below so that way when I do purchase the gift card, you will get an email with your gift card. So it'll be an electronic gift card. That way you don't have to wait for it in the mail. You will get it right away. This giveaway will be open until Tuesday, November 23rd. So you guys have a couple days to comment. Rule three, you must like the video. 
So you can get a second entry into the giveaway. If you comment your favorite Starbucks or Dunkin order, I have both Starbucks and Dunkin here in Florida and I love both of them and I just want to get everyone's favorite order. I think that's such a fun, cute thing to do and then I get to try your guys' orders. So leave those in the comments down below and I just want to say good luck to everyone and thank you so much for supporting my channel and watching my videos and liking and commenting. It really does mean so much to me and I just want to get back to you guys. And just so you guys know, my $40 that I am budgeting for myself, that is where this $25 gift card is coming out of. Car maintenance is getting $9. Beauty will be getting $10. Clothes is getting $20. Emergency is getting $25. Ava is getting $15. Alexandria is getting 10 and Anastasia is getting five. So the reason my girls get different amounts is their age. So Ava is five, about to be six. Alexandria is two and Anna is seven months. So I have way longer to save for her and still longer to save for her, but I'm technically playing catch up for my daughter Ava because I don't have a savings for her. So I just do as much as I can and then I just take off five for each. And family time is getting $55 because we are trying to go to Disney World. <laughs> and then wedding is getting $10. Household is getting 20 because we're still saving for that lawn tool that we need. <laughs> And then holidays is getting ready for this $100 because Christmas is coming and we don't have very much saved. <laughs> All right, so first home is not getting anything. New car is not getting anything. These are just not a priority to me right now. They will be in 2022. I cannot believe it's almost the end of the year, you guys. That's crazy to me. Birthdays is getting $10. Like I said, my daughter's birthday is in January, so I want to have some money for her. Vacation is not getting anything. And then savings challenge. So this is all of my fiance's tips for the week. I stick them in an envelope, and then at the end of the month when I do my singing funds update, I delegate those to if I want debt or if I want to put it towards like different singing funds and different folders. So that's what that money goes to. And there, this week he got $49 in tips. That's crazy. That's our biggest week in tips that he's gotten. So I'm so thankful for that. And then new computer is getting $30. And support small is not getting anything this week. So now if we total up all of our sinking funds, we get a total of $319. That leaves us with a remaining balance because we had 319 left over from expenses. This gives us a zero remaining, which is a zero based budget. That is gonna do it for our November week three budget with me. This will be going up Sunday, November 21st. So you do have three days to enter into the giveaway. I will also have the rules below in the description bar so that way you guys know the rules. I just want to say thank you again and if you are not already subscribed and you want to enter into that giveaway, now is your chance to get a gift card. I know it's not much you guys, but at 500 subscribers, I will be picking two winners and it will be a cash giveaway. So stay tuned for that. You guys were already at like over 140 subscribers. So I'm just manifesting that we will be there soon. <laughs> and honestly, I just wouldn't be here without God. And I just thank him for providing everything that I have so far and why I still have a paycheck even though I lost my job in October. So 
Thank you guys so much. And if you made it to the end of the video, comment these little money emojis because you're about to get some money. And I just want to say good luck and thank you. And I will see you in my cash stubbing. Bye guys.